What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Today, guys, I'm told I'm going really out of my comfort zone, and I hope for the best with this one. Today, I'm going to grill a whole red snapper. I'm going to season it up and I'm going to wrap it in aluminum foil. It's going to be a wrap grill on the uh, grill. So I'm pretty excited, but nervous at the same time. But you know, cooking is all about experimenting and hope for the best and learn from any mishaps if there are mishaps along the way. So let's get started because this is going to take a minute. All right, first of all, I wanna start with the seasoning. I'm gonna start with <clears throat> a cup of oil and then I'm gonna throw about five or six different seasonings in there all right I have paprika These are tablespoons. I'm not sure if, uh-oh. Maybe I should be using teaspoons. Yeah, let's, let's use our teaspoons. Cause that seemed like it was a lot. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna put some onion powder in there. I'm, this is a brand new one that I just now bought. I'm quite sure at the storage unit I have <laughs> probably two of them that's already open. <laughs> yeah, that seemed like a much better, much better portion. Then I'm gonna add some chili powder. Same thing, I just now bought this. I can get it open. All right. All right, there goes that. Then I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Oh my goodness, all of these are new. I know good and well I got all of this stuff already <laughs> in that storage facility. All right. Two little dips of this. Then I'm gonna add some badaya all seasoning. Now, I forgot where I got this recipe from. It was a, a Caribbean woman, and she had like seven or eight different seasonings. And she also had some crushed peppercorns as well as some crushed coriander seeds, which I forgot to get. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this uh, peppercorns in here. Just one of those. Let me tell you, I already know the effect of these. <laughs> All right, uh, da da da. Now, I could add some of that, uh, what is it, Tony Catcher stuff, but that stuff is too goddamn. <laughs> it's really, really <laughs> hot. So, I think this would do. So, we're going to give this a nice uh, mix. This fish, you can tell it's fresh because it smells like fish <laughs> should smell <laughs> all right guys so now you see this fish here i'm going to cut some slits i had the people at the market clean it they took the uh, fins off of it so all i had to do really is start doing what i need to do with it so i'm going to cut some nice 
slits in it. And I'm gonna flip it on the other side. I probably should have my gloves on because my hands are gonna smell like fish for days. This actually don't feel like it has a lot of, a lot of meat on it. <laughs> it really don't. All right, now I'm gonna start seasoning this with this oil mix that I just now made. I'm gonna get all down in these little slits that I made. All in the inside. Just everywhere, everywhere. Just spread it everywhere. Get it in there so that you can have a nice seasoned whole fish. I don't know if I should season the head of it. I ain't gonna eat that. Also, this oil will serve as a non-thickening agent, so to speak, where your fish hopefully will not stick to the pan. Now, guess what, guys? I bought a lemon, right? I bought a lemon because I was gonna stick a lemon on the inside. But guess what? The lemon went bad. I'ma look, I'ma cut it open and see. Oh, I already I'm throw it in the trash. I had a bug on my arm. What the hoot nanny? Now, mind you, she had way more seasonings than I did. Want to get that in there. Flip that over. This is gonna be something. <laughs> this is my first time cooking a whole fish. Try to get it all in those little slits that you made. Get it all up in there. And since I don't have any lemon, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple pats of butter in here as well. And hopefully that butter, and I'll stick a couple pats of butter on the inside, and hopefully that will keep the fish moist. I have no idea how long I'm supposed to keep this on the grill. Everything is going to be trial and error, but that's what cooking is all about, you know. You go ahead and do it. Hopefully it'll work out. All right. I think that's enough. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> it looks coated. But I think what I want to do is put I think I want to put a little bit on the top. Not a lot, just a little. A little bit of everything on the top. Know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? After a while, oh, that don't fit. That don't fit. There we go. All right, we're gonna flip this back over. Uh-oh, it's starting to run. Ooh, getting all on my pants here. 
I want all of it. Okay, flies, I got the fly trap over there. Get over there with the rest of your dead friends. <laughs> That's right. I got my fly trap up. Get over there with the rest of your dead friends. All right, let's do a little bit on this side. Just a little. A lot of this uh, oil and everything has ran off of it. So hopefully when I wrap it all up, it will keep everything in. All right, there we go. I gotta get my butter and then that's gonna do it. Some new butter. I shoved that knife right up into my um, <laughs> my tablecloth. <laughs> now I got a hole in my tablecloth. I'm gonna have to wrap this up really, really good because there's a lot of liquid and stuff that's gonna be running. I'm gonna try to smear this on here. How about that? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Stay up in there. All right, let's try to get some of this back on here. All right, I gotta put one more thing on here. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Don't even be tripping out there. Y'all know me and my... Uh-oh, my pepper. All right, let's try to wrap this bad boy up so good. Now, because I have oil on everything, I'm going to take a chance and not put any extra anything on here. Really need to wrap this up really good. Because I don't want anything leaking out. Now I'm going to flip this over. This is a big piece of fish. I don't think I got a big enough piece of aluminum for you. Because I need to flip it this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I do not want this to come out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to add. So see how that's coming open? I can't have no juices coming out of this. None. This is, see, I need more on this end. I got plenty on this side. I tell you what, let's flip this side in first. I'm making it really difficult for me to check and see if this fish is done. I'm gonna have to unwrap so much stuff. I should have just put it straight on the grill. What y'all think? Should I just put it straight on the grill? Put the fish straight on the grill? But am I gonna have problems turning it? Okay, look, flies. Look, family reunion. <laughs> go, go over there. <laughs> Should I put it straight on the grill? Hmm. Man, I don't know. All right. You know what? 
I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna go and get the grill set up and then I'll decide. All right guys, over to the grill now. I'm gonna be using this uh, chimney charcoal lighter that Musette gave me as well as the uh, charcoal wood that she gave me, the little pieces. And so let's just get started. Now this is all new to me. I haven't a clue what I'm doing. I'm playing all this by ear. So don't be yelling in the screen at me. <laughs> Cause I might give you plenty to yell at. Where's my charcoal? paper out the way. All right, I think I think that's how you do it. Put some paper on the bottom and then the charcoal on the top and you light the paper. <laughs> all right let me get the um wood chips now i saw a video online how to use these wood chips because i didn't know how to Ooh, look at that because i didn't know how to use these wood chips that musette gave me again uh too so i looked online and i saw that they took some aluminum foil wrapped some of the uh, wood chips in the aluminum foil and then sit them on top of the charcoal when it's ready and it's supposed to give you a smoky taste so let me get these this wood chip packet ready These look different than what I saw online. I hope I'm doing this right. Now 
And I saw a couple videos that they did it this way. And then they took a fork and punched some holes in it. And then I'm just gonna sit this on top of the charcoal. All right, that bad boy is really going. All right, gotta wash my hands, be right back. All right, guys, <laughs> it's all done. The charcoal is gray. Go ahead and place this on top. I don't know if that's going to block it or not. I'm thinking of, woo, that shit was hot. Maybe I should put the wood chips in there. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Now, I'm gonna put the fish. I went ahead and wrapped the fish up nicely. Hopefully this will do. I just decided to use one piece. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's right or wrong. I don't know if I'm supposed to put those chips straight on there or not, or I should have put them in some aluminum foil, but they starting to smoke. So I think I did it wrong. All right, guys, I went ahead and took the wood chips out and I put them in an aluminum foil packet like I originally wanted to do. So we'll see how it works. Just cross your fingers. All right, guys, the fish is almost ready. I checked it. I made a big mess because <laughs> when I flipped it, I punched a hole. I punctured a hole in the, uh, the aluminum foil and juices ran all over. The fire started going on. I had to take the fish off of, <laughs> off of the grill rewrap it in aluminum foil. <laughs> I had a mess. I was like, oh Lord. All right, I'm gonna make myself a small salad now with some baby spinach. Oh yes, I made a mess. <laughs> some mozzarella cheese. some dried cranberries. Some honey roasted uh, pecan pieces. And my favorite dressing, some creamy Caesar salad. I usually get Paul Newman, but I don't think I saw it. Give this a little toss up. It's just gonna be a small salad. Y'all know I don't eat salads that much. 
right, and my last thing that I like to put on my salads, yes, you guessed it, <laughs> some pepper. <laughs> Anybody else put pepper on their salads? All right, guys, the salad is done. It's time for me to get the fish. All right, guys, the fish is done. It looks amazing. It smells Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice on here. And then of course, can't eat no fish without some hot sauce. I tell you, this looks so good. And of course my side salad here Got me a Seagram's strawberry daiquiri wine cooler. Crank that bad boy open. Ah, say some grace. All right, I had so much trouble turning this fish over. <laughs> so much trouble. I managed to turn it over, but I lost a lot of it, but anywho, let's go in, let's go in. Woo, I'm excited. This fish got bones in it. What, no hoot nanny? I thought this was a boneless fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gravy. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Oh my, oh, the fish is tender. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I can taste all of those seasonings in, on the, uh, the skin of it. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I thought this fish was boneless. What, no hoot nanny? Oh my God. I'm telling you, that oil mixture that I made, oh, I can taste every bit of it. It's not as, as that chili oil was that hit me, but let me, ooh, my gosh, wowzer. This is good. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, you should be able to see the steam come from it because I can see it. Oh, this is, mm, wow. Wow. I might end up eating this whole thing, both sides. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. I should have told him cut the head off of it because I'm looking at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you taste so good. You taste so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. The, the, the skin with that oil and that oil mixture, oh, it's out of this world. Mm. Wowza. This is something else, y'all. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Won't you eat like a human? <laughs> Won't you slow down and eat like a human? <laughs> Don't talk about food in your mouth. This is 
so, so good. Stop smacking. <laughs> Dip it in some of the oil that you're gonna have. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and I can't fly. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and I can't fly. This is on the money. All right. All right. I'm going to end this here, because I'm going to try to flip this bad boy over and eat all of it. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys the next time.